Canada. Welcome back to the 2013 Gillette Canada Cup here in Gatineau, Quebec. You're about to witness the women's 10 meter platform final. In screen, you have the presentation of the competitors. Diver number five from China, Huang Xiwa. And diver number six from China, Lian Ti. Ladies and gentlemen, your finalists in the women's platform event. Good luck, bon chance.
Representing Japan, Mai Nakagawa. She will perform inward two and a half somersaults, spiked position, two points, eight tariff. It's a good start for my She's not coming in vertical though, rolling slightly over in the end. It's a very good takeoff. Beautiful tight pike position in the air. It is that over rotating in the air, which creates that little bit of a bubble in the end. See what the judges thought about that dive. Seven and a half for the judges. 64.40 for my Nakagawa's inward two and a half somersault. Pike position. Let's move on to Diana Pineda representing Colombia. She starts with a very easy dive. Front two and a half somersaults. Pike position. Low degree of difficulty of 2.3. It's a beautiful dive from Diana. It's a good takeoff. Spots the water. Rips the entry. With a dive with this... Uh, Low tariff, it's very essential to perform well. Eight and a half from the judges. 56.35 for Diana Pineda's first dive. Representing Australia, Jocelyn Burnett. Back two and a half, somersault pipe position. 2.9 degree of difficulty. She's just taking it easy. That takeoff. Very slow while leaving the platform. Which gives her a very slow rotation in the air. She has full control of the dive. Landing a little bit on her shoulders there, creating a big splash. It's an okay start from Jocelyn Burnett. 
It's the uh, sevens from the judges, 60.90. Jocelyn's uh, first dive. Representing Canada, Megan Benfeito. She will perform front three and a half somersaults pike position. Oh, and a good start for Megan. He's jumping away a little bit too much from the platform. She has perfect control in the air. Spots the water and just rips the entry. This a 23-year-old diver from Montreal. Good start for uh, Benfeto. Let's see what the judges thought about that dive. Mostly seven and a half from the judges. 69 for the dive. She is currently in the lead. Representing uh, China, Wang Zhaohu. She will uh, perform inward three and a half somersaults, tucked position, 3.2 tariff. And such a shame, what a good takeoff. Beautiful tucked position while spinning in the air. She came out too late from rotation, landing on her shoulders a little bit. Tucked in her head at the end. Slight mistake from Wang. Mostly six and a half from the judges. Three sevens, 64 for her dive. Let's move on to Liang Yi. She starts with the front three and a half somersaults, pike position, three point zero tariff. An excellent start. Well performed front three and a half somersaults, pike position. She will get high scores for this dive. It's a good takeoff. And a clean entry as well. Not landing fully vertical. But she hides it pretty well with that ripping entry. The eights from the judges, 73.50 for Lian Ye. It's first dive. Now to the current standings after the first round of dives. China is in the lead. Second, Canada, Megan Benefeto. Third, Mai Nakagawa, representing Japan. But there is four rounds remaining in this final.
second round of dives, representing Japan, Mai Nakagawa. She will perform a front three and a half somersault, pike position 3.0 terrace. Ooh, it's a good dive for Mai. A little bit splashy while breaking the water. But it's a good takeoff, and look at that tight pike position while spinning in the air. Hardly any space at all between legs and stomach, which is exactly how it's supposed to look like while performing the pipe position. But a big bubble while going through the water. Mostly eight from the judges, 70.50 for that dive. Could have got eight and a half, and just ripped her entry. Let's move on to Diana Pineda, representing Colombia. She will perform inward two and a half somersaults, pike position. Degree of difficulty is 2.8. A little bit of leg injury there. Takes the whole five. Serious. It's a well performed inward two and a half somersault pike position. It's fairly easy dives in this event. Usually the girls perform inward three and a half somersaults. The only direction they spin two and a half somersault is that the reverse dives. But a good dive from Diana Pineda. Let's see what the judges thought about. Her inward two and a half somersaults. Seven and a half from the judges once. Five there, I'm not really sure what that girlfriend was looking at. Way better than five. Let's move on to Jocelyn Burnett, representing Australia. Back arm stand, two somersaults, one and a half twists, 3.2 terror. While performing these arm stand dives, you need to maintain balance on the platform, on your hands, for at least three seconds. If you would fall down for any reason before three seconds, the judges will deduct two points. Beautiful balance on the platform and a good dive from Burnett. Overrotated it slightly in the end. Tucked in her head slightly in the end. Kept on rotating, creating that splash. But still seven and a half from the judges, 67.20 for Jocelyn's dive. But we are moving on to Megan Benfeto representing Canada. She will perform inward three and a half somersaults, tucked position, 3.2 tariff. at all while breaking the surface, just pulls the water down with her while going through the water. 
brilliant sorry from Megan. He will get high scores for this dive, I'm sure. The judges will love that dive. <laughs> Nines from the judges, 86.40, a huge score for Megan Benfeto. Representing uh, China, Wang Ji Hu. She will perform back three and a half somersaults, tucked position. Oh, such a shame. What a takeoff. She does with such grace, this Chinese diver. She didn't spot the water at all in the end. Which is essential to locate where you are while spinning. She came out way too late from that back three and a half somersault, landing quite heavily on her legs. Big mistake. Only force from the judges, 39.60 for that dive. Let's move on to Lian Ye, representing China, with inward three and a half somersaults, tucked position, 3.2 difficulty. Ooh, what a dive! Beautiful dive. I've never seen this diver before, but what a dive. Excellent. Inward three and a half somersaults. Beautiful tuck position while spinning in the air. Has plenty of time to just spot the water and rip that entry, which is exactly what she does. She will get high scores for this dive should get around nines maybe a couple of nine and a halves well two eight and a halves there not really sure why but 86.40 for that dive To the uh, current standings after the second round of dives, Lian Ye is in the lead, second Megan Benfeito, only four points behind. Third, uh, Mai Nakagawa, presenting Japan. But there is uh, three rounds remaining. Waiting for the athletes to get ready. Mai Nakagawa is starting the third round of dives, representing Japan with back three and a half somersaults, tucked position, 3.3 tariff.
Very slow back three and a half somersaults. Makes it really hard to finish that dive. Landing heavily on her back and legs. She's gonna feel that tomorrow, I'm sure. In the uh, 34.65 for Mayana Kagawa's back, three and a half somersaults. Representing Colombia, Diana Pineda. She will perform reverse two and a half somersaults, tucked position, 2.7 difficulty. Stopped rotation at a good time, but she arched too much. She thought she stopped rotation too early, maybe. Critting a quite a big splash. Forty-five point ninety for Diana's reverse two and a half somersaults. We're moving on to Jocelyn Burnett representing Australia with front three and a half somersaults, pike position, three point zero difficulty. It's a very good takeoff, but not as good landing. These divers are still pretty young, doesn't have that much experience. I believe uh, Mega Benfeto, the 23 year old. Canadian dive was one in the start list here today. 54 for Jocelyn's dive. <laughs> Megan Benfeto representing Canada. The back three and a half somersaults, tucked position, 3.3 tariff. And she's been diving excellent so far in this final. Ooh, beautiful dive from Megan. I don't like her booty feet while spinning in the air. But what an entry. She's over-rotating slightly in the end. Nothing big, she still manages to perform a ripping entry. A little bit of a splash, nothing big. She should get around eight, maybe eight and a half here from the judges. Eighty point eighty five for that dive. Mostly eights from the judges. She's diving well. Let's move on to Wang Xiaohu, representing China. Front three and a half somersaults, pipe position, three points, zero difficulty. <laughs> A beautiful dive from Wang. She's finally woken up. What a dive. She's not landing fully vertical, slightly short, but look at that ripping entry. 
Enough splash to fill a teacup, <laughs> as we say. Hardly any space at all between stomach and legs. Beautifully done. What a dive. Nine and a half from the judges, 84 for that dive. Let's move on to uh, Li Anjie, representing China, with back arm stand, two somersaults, one and a half twists, 3.2 tariff. Beautiful dive, the Chinese divers who finally want to get in and fight for a medal here today. It's nice to see. That was a brilliant dive from Lian Ye. Great balance on the platform and a beautiful entry as well. Eights from the judges, 76.80 for that dive. She has moved past Megan Ben Feito, and she is currently in the lead. Now to the uh, current standings after the third round of dives. Lian Ye, China, is in the lead before Megan Ben Feito, Canada. And third, Wang Chaohu, representing China. But there is two rounds remaining. And sit tight. We have a little in between uh, shows here in Quebec. Starting the uh, fourth out of fifth round of dives, representing Japan, Maina Kagawa. She will perform a quite hard dive to reverse two and a half somersaults pike position. Not many divers perform this dive. They're afraid to hit their feet while passing the platform. And that looked a little bit close to me, actually. Oof. My heart almost... <laughs> Left my chest there. She doesn't push through really while leaving the platform, which makes the dive a little bit close with her feet. Ooh, that was pretty close. She came out way too early, landing heavily on her shoulders. These sixes from the judges. Two six and a half, fifty three point sixty five. And she's having a bad day at work. This Marinaki Gava, she's a very talented diver. I've seen her dive a lot better than today. Well, let's move on to Diana Pineda, representing Colombia. Back two and a half somersaults, pike position.
And this Diana Pineda, she's been struggling throughout this competition. Well, so far, there's one round remaining, of course. He's backing away a little bit too much from the platform, has troubles to stop the rotation, kept on rotating while breaking the water, creating that big splash. Thirty nine point fifteen, a low score for uh, Pineda. Only four and a half from the judges. <laughs> Representing Australia, Jocelyn Burnett. She will perform inward three and a half somersaults tucked position. Degree of difficulty is three point two. Big mistake from Burnett. Didn't spot the water. Came out too late from that inward three and a half. Over rotated quite heavily in the end. Five and a half from the judges, 49.60 for Jocelyn's inward three and a half somersaults. Now to the home diver, representing Canada, Megan Benfeto. The back arm stand, triple somersaults, tucked position, 3.3 tariff. She's been diving excellent so far. Two points behind the Chinese diver. Currently second. Just making them pay to it. Great balance on the platform. Ooh, and it's a good dive. She really wants that gold medal here today. It's a very good takeoff. Beautiful technique. Kicking her legs out to gain that speed which you need to perform this dive. Spots the water, arches back a little bit too much. Her feet smacking the water there a little bit. Nothing big. It's gonna get good scores for this dive, I'm sure. Mostly seven and a half from the judges, one six and a half, seventy four point twenty five. She's diving well here today. Let's see if she can keep through throughout the competition. Let's move on to Wang Yi Hu with a hard dive, reverse three and a half somersaults, tuck position, three point three tariff. Such a shame, what a good takeoff. When coming out from the rotation, she should have pointed her feet towards the roof and just dropped them vertical to get that clean entry. But she spot the water too early. Came out landing heavily on her legs there with an arch as well. She's gonna feel that tomorrow. Forty-four point fifty-five for Wang Chi Hu's dive. That opens opens it up a little bit in the in the field. Let's move on to Lian Ye, representing China with back three and a half somersaults tucked position three point three degree of difficulty.
Ooh. I thought she was going to nail that dive. Such a shame because it was a very, very good takeoff. She performs almost two somersaults above the 10 meter platform. See here. One, two, spots the water. Maybe rotated. Too much in the end, creating that big splash. Mostly uh, sixes from the judges. 62.70. She's currently second. Megan is currently in the lead. And to the current standings after the fourth round of dives, Megan Benfeto, Canada, 310.50. Before Lianjie, China. And third, Wang Jihu. But there is one round remaining in this women's 10 meter platform event. And anything can happen. As you have seen, it's very easy, easy to uh, miss a dive, especially from the 10 meter platform. But these divers practice two times a day, 25 hours a week. They know what they're doing. But anyone can have a bad day at work, of course. According to Priya, only one diver is diving at her best here today. But let's see what happens in the fifth and last round of dives. And starting the uh, fifth and last round of dives, representing Japan, Mai Nakagawa. She finishes with back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. Degree of difficulty is 3.2. And she's been struggling throughout this competition. Very slow in the rotation. She hurt his, her uh, tricep there as well. Not straightening her arms while going through the water, but that is not the main problem. She <coughs> is coming in quite heavily short, landing on her legs. Only four and a half from the judges. 43.20 for that dive. Our day at the office. Let's move on to Diana Pineda, representing Colombia. She's finishing with a quite easy dive. Back one and a half somersaults, two and a half twists. The degree of difficulty is 2.8. Very slow in the twisting session, but it's a good entry. It's an okay finish from uh, Diana Pineda. Also been struggling here today.
It's seven and a half from the judges, 61.60 for uh, Pineda's uh, last dive. Representing Australia, Jocelyn Burnett. She's finishing with back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists, 3.2 tariff. And a good finish from Jocelyn. It's a good takeoff. She leans back a little bit too much from the uh, platform, which gives her less height. Over rotated a little bit in the end, but nothing big. Still a good dive from Jocelyn. Mostly uh, sevens and six and a half from the judges. 65.60 for Burnett's last dive in this competition. Let's move on to the favorite in this final, Megan Benfeto, representing Canada. has been diving very well throughout the competition. She will uh, finish with the same dive. But she needs to nail this dive if she wants that gold medal here today and beat the Chinese divers. Oh, a beautiful finish from Megan Benfeto. What a dive! Brilliant diving. Throughout the competition from Megan Benfeto, this 23 year old diver. And she is happy. She should be. Leans away from the platform, backing away slightly too much, but what an entry. She just pulls the water down with her while breaking the surface. Excellent job from Megan. Eight and a half from the judges, two nines, three nines as well. 83.20 for Megan's dive. And she is currently in the lead. There is two divers left in this final.
And the winner of the women's 10 meter platform, the final results, Megan Ben and Feito is the gold medalist. The silver medal went to China and Jillian. And the bronze medalist, Wang Ichiao. Welcome uh, to the 2013 Gillette Canada Cup here in uh, Gatineau, Quebec. You're about to witness the women's three meters synchronized springboard final. In screen you have the starting order of the eight different teams competing for the medals here today. First team out in this final, representing Australia, Fan, Kin and Samantha Mills. They uh, start with an inward dive, piked position. And these first two round of dives has a limited degree of difficulty of 2.0. So all eight teams will perform easy dives during these rounds. Good start for uh, Team Australia. Both divers are backing away slightly too much from the springboard, but well synchronized in the air. And Sue ripping entries while breaking the water. And it's a good start. Should get around eights for this dive. Well, 47.40 for their inward dive pike position. Mostly eights for the uh, synchronization. Seven and a half and one eight there for their individual dives. Well, let's move on to Team Chile, Paula Sotomayor and Wendy Espina. They start with a back one and a half somersault, half twist. And these divers are quite young, still junior divers. Probably their first big event. It's an okay start for Team Chile. Not very technical divers. They have a couple of more years of practice before they compete. I'm sorry, can compete for the medals in these big events. You will see the difference between this team and the other competitors in this final. Quite a low score, 38.40 for that dive. Sixes for their individual dives. Six and a halves for the synchronization. This is another team representing Mexico. And Gabriela Agundes and Samantha Jimenez, they start with reverse dive, pike position. These are also two young divers. What a good start for Team Mexico. Well synchronized. And two well performed reverse dives, pike position. It's the first time I've seen either of 
these teams, Chile and Mexico. Sevens for their dives, eights for the synchronization, 46.20 for their reverse dive and piked position. Representing USA, Megan Houston and Laura Ryan. They start with front dive, piked position. It's an okay start for Team USA. Slight mistake there from uh, Laura Ryan. Not coming in in a vertical line. Slightly short while breaking the uh, surface and therefore the little splash there in the end, but well synchronized in the air. Eights for the uh, synchronization, 45 uh, for that dive. Let's move on to uh, Team Russia. Irina Tonikova and Olga Kulemina. They will perform the same dive. And a beautiful start for Team Russia. Irina Tonikova not reaching the end of the springboard. Which makes it hard to wait for the springboard to push you up in the air. But it's a well-performed front uh, dive spike position. Two beautiful ripping entries as well. Aiden House for the uh, synchronization. Eights for the dives. 49.80 for Team Russia's first dive. But let's move on to uh, Team Japan. Sayaka Shibusawa, Mai Nakagawa. They start with inward dive pike position. There's a slight difference in height between these divers. Will it affect the uh, synchronization? A little bit, but nothing big. This was a good start for Team Japan. Well synchronized. for the uh, synchronization 47.40 for their first dive we're moving on to the home team representing uh, Canada Pamela Ware and Jennifer Abel they start with inward dive pike position Good start for Team Canada. Pamela Ware is backing away. Slightly further than uh, her teammate Jennifer Abel. But nothing big. Other than that, well synchronized. And two well performed inward dives, pike position. Eights for their dives, eights for the synchronization, two nines there as well, 49.80.
currently in the lead. <laughs> Representing China, Lin Qiu, Lu Zhao. We start with the front dive pike position. Ooh, and a beautiful start. Such a shame neither of them ripped their entries. Which will result in less scores for their individual dives. A beautiful synchronization. Eight for their dives, nines for the uh, synchronization, 51, they move past Team Canada. And to the uh, current standings after the first round of dives, China is in the lead before Russia, third Canada, fourth Japan, fifth Australia, sixth Mexico, seventh USA and eighth Chile. But there is four rounds remaining in this final. Starting the second round of dives, representing Australia, Fan Kin and Samantha Mills, they will perform front dive, pike position. And as I've said earlier, these first two round of dives has a limited degree of difficulty of 2.0. A well-performed dive from Team Australia. Samantha Mills. Jumping a little bit further out in the pool than her teammates. But nothing big, still a good dive. You can see in the replay, Samantha Mills is hanging 10, as we say, which means she's standing with all 10 toes outside the edge of the uh, springboard. 48.60 for that dive, seven and a half for their individual dives, eight and a half for the synchronization. Let's move on to Team Chile, Paula Sotomayor and Wendy Espina with the reverse dive pike position. That's an okay dive. Both divers are over rotating slightly in the ends of their dives, smacking their feet towards the water, creating that little bit of a splash. Two for that dive, sevens for their dives. Representing Mexico, Gabriela Agundes, Samantha Jimenez with back one and a half somersaults, a half twist. Two very young divers. Oh, well. Synchronized 
And two well executed back one and a half somersaults, half twist from these young divers. Not as powerful as the rest of the teams in this final, but technically very good dives from Paula and Wendy. Well, seven and a half for their synchronization, sevens for their dives, 45.60. They're diving quite well so far. But let's move on to Team USA. Megan Houston and Laura Ryan with the reverse dive pike position. Ready? Ready? Yeah. a good dive from Team USA. Well synchronized on the springboard and in the air. Both divers are slightly over-rotating in the end. Beautiful synchronization. The sevens, seven and a half for their individual dives. 46.80 for their reverse dive. There won't be many misses during these first two round of dives. Representing Russia, Irina Tonikova, Olga Kulemina, also with reverse dive, piked position. And they're diving very graciously, these Russian divers. Pointy feet, beautiful lines in the air. But this was a very good dive, well synchronized. And two clean ripping entries as well. Two nines there for the synchronization, eights for their dives, 49.80. They're diving quite well so far, this Russian team. But let's move on to Team Japan, Sayaka Shibusawa, Mai Nakagawa, a front dive, pike position. Ooh, a slight mistake there from... Uh, Shibusawa to the right here. And screen. There's a slight difference in height between these divers, which makes it a little bit difficult to dive these synchro events. As you can see, Shibusawa weighs a little bit more. She can push the board and gain that extra meter of height. Six and a half sevens for Shibusawa's over rotating in the end of that dive. And to the home team representing Canada, Jennifer Abel and Pamela Ware. Reverse dive, a pike position. Like uh, Jennifer Abel was a little bit before her teammate Pamela on the springboard, but somehow they managed to land in the water at the same time. Let's watch the replay here. It was well synchronized in the air and so well performed 
Reverse dives, pike position. Pamela Ware is jumping a little much further out in the pool than Jennifer Abel. But eight and a half for the synchronization, 49.20 for that dive. They're diving strong so far. At Team Canada. Two of the favorites in this final, representing China. Lin Qiu, Lu Zhao, also with reverse dive piked. Well executed dive from these divers. But both divers are jumping away a little bit too much from the springboard. Mostly nines for the synchronization, eights and eight and a half for their individual dives, 51.60. To the current standings after the second round of dives, China is still in the lead before Team Russia. And uh, third, uh, Jennifer Abel, Pamela Ware, Canada. But it's now, it all begins, the excitement begins. They will now begin to perform harder dives, more rotations, more twists. Starting the third round of dives, representing Australia, and Fan Kin, Samantha Mills. They will perform back two and a half somersaults, piked position, 3.0 difficulty. Such a shame, big mistake from uh, Samantha Mills. Did not spot the water at all while spinning in the air. Came out way too late, rolling heavily over at the end of her dive and creating that huge splash, which uh, the judges are not gonna like. Such a shame, well synchronized before that. Beautiful takeoff. And spins at the exact same time in the air. Therefore, the five and four and a half for Samantha's dive. 60.30 for that dive. But let's move on to Team Chile. Paula Sotomayor and Wendy Espina. With a quite easy dive front, two and a half somersaults. Pike position, 2.4 tariff. Well, as I've said earlier, these are two junior divers, not very experienced, probably their first big event. They're here to learn, here to watch the more experienced divers. And Chile doesn't have that many divers. I've seen one diver before representing Chile. It's not a very big sport over there. But still 43.20 for that dive.
Well, let's move on to uh, Team Mexico. Also, two very young divers. Gabriela Agundes and Samantha Jimenez. Also with front two and a half somersaults, pike position. What a beautiful dive from uh, Team Mexico. Even though these divers are young as well, you can clearly, clearly see the difference between this team and the Team Chile. These young girls are not very powerful, but because of their excellent technique, it looks so effortless when they're diving. Beautiful synchronization and two very clean ripping entries. You don't have to be that powerful as long as you have great technique. This will be a promising team for the future. Eights for the uh, synchronization, sevens for their dives, 54.72 for that dive. Because of the uh, low degree of difficulty of that dive. Well, let's move on to uh, Megan Houston and Laura Ryan with front two and a half somersaults, full twist, 3.0 difficulty. Team USA's first mistake. Yeah. Laura Ryan yeah. had to struggle to finish that dive. Not reaching the end of the uh, springboard, which makes it really hard to get that rotation going. She's coming in quite heavily short. And therefore, the four and a halves for Ryan's dive, sevens for Megan's dive, and sevens for the synchronization. 59.40 for their front two and a half somersaults, full twist. Representing Russia, Irina Tonikova, Olga Kulemina with inward two and a half somersaults, tuck position, two point seven degree of difficulty. And Irina Tonikova did not spot the water while spinning in the air. Tucked in her head a little bit in the end, which makes it hard to spot the water. And therefore, she's over rotating, landing a little bit on her shoulders. The well synchronized in the air before that. Fifty-one point eighty-four for that dive, mostly sevens for the synchronization. One five and one four and a half there for Irina's inward two and a half somersaults. But let's move on to Team Japan and Sayakawa Shibusawa Mai Nakagawa with reverse two and a half somersaults, spiked position, three point zero difficulty. Not very Good takeoffs from neither of them. Both are leaving the springboard way too early, not reaching the maximum height. They try to get a fast rotation of their dives by bending their knees when leaving the uh, springboard, which results in less height. Both divers are coming in, landing on their shoulders, slightly short. 51.84 for Team Japan. <laughs> Representing Canada, Jennifer Abel and Pamela Ware. This home team 
They have the crowd cheering for them. They will perform front three and a half somersaults, a pike Ready? position. Three points, one degree of difficulty. Oof, Pamela Ware was out in the deep water there. Lost her balance in the uh, hurdle step. Had to correct the balance with her arms, losing that arm swing, which is uh, quite essential to get the uh, rotation going. But she really made the best out of that situation. Still coming in slightly short, landing a little bit on her legs. But well synchronized anyway. And during the airtime, see what the judges thought about that dive. Well, a slight mistake. They know it. 60.45 for that dive. Well, let's move on to uh, Team China. Lin Q, Lu Zhao. In with two and a half somersaults, piked position, 3.0 difficulty. Ooh. Excellent performed inward two and a half somersaults. Both divers are backing away slightly too much from the springboard, losing that half a meter of height. But well synchronized and two ripping entries as well. For the uh, synchronization, two nines there as well. 72.90 for that dive, and it's a big score for Team China. And to the current standings after the third round of dives, Team China is still in the lead. And before uh, Team Canada, Jennifer Abel and Pamela Ware, Australia is third. Fan Kin, Samantha Mills. But there is two rounds remaining in this final. Anything is possible in the sport of diving. You have to keep your nerves together throughout the competition. You have to be very focused during two minutes and then relax between the dives. Starting the fourth round of dives, representing Australia, Fan Kin, Samantha Mills, with reverse two and a half somersaults, pike position, 3.0 difficulty. Ooh. Ooh. Samantha Mills had to struggle to even perform that dive. She was standing with half her feet outside the end of the springboard. Let's watch the replay here. And so did her teammates, Fan Kin, Hanging Ten, both divers. It's pretty well synchronized, even though they're coming in short, landing a little bit on their backs and legs there. Sevens for the synchronization. Fives for their dives. 55.80 for that reverse two and a half somersault. Representing Chile, Paula and Wendy. They will perform inward two and a half somersaults, tucked position, 2.7 degree of difficulty. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. My heart's almost left my chest there. Paula to the right there in screen. It's diving very close to the uh, springboard, but she dives to the left of the springboard, which is lucky for her. She would have hit her head there otherwise. Oof. But that, was hap that is what happens. It, with a uh, not very good technique. Oof. Let's uh, move on to uh, Team Mexico. Agundes and Jimenez. They will perform the same dive. Let's see the difference here. Also two very young divers. But they have excellent technique on the springboard. Beautiful synchronization. Slight mistake there from uh, Samantha. Stopped the rotation a little bit too early. Just a fragment too early. Coming in slightly short. But they keep their balance on the springboard. They swing their arms above their heads before leaving the springboard. Beautiful technique from these young girls. Seven and a half for the synchronization, six and a half for their dives, 57.51 for their inward two and a half somersaults, tucked position. Let's move on to Megan Houston and Laura Ryan. They will perform inward two and a half somersaults, pike position, 3.0 difficulty. They've been struggling throughout this competition, these American divers. Laura Ryan is backing away way too much from the springboard. Doesn't give herself time to finish that dive. Oof, half to bend her knees to not get a zero on that dive. Ooh, she hit her feet. I didn't see that. Laura Ryan hit her feet in the uh, springboard. Oof, big mistake from uh, Team USA, 40.50 for that dive. Oof. Uh, let's move on to Team Russia, Tonikov and Kulimina. They will perform back two and a half somersaults, pike position, 3.0 difficulty. I surely hope there won't be any accidents here today in this final. I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Ooh, not a very good dive from Team Russia. No chance to hurt themselves, which is good, of course. But neither of them get, got enough rotation on that dive to finish their dives. Had to bend their knees slightly while going into that pike position. Both divers landing quite heavily short. Arching while going through the water, creating a huge splash. There for the three and a half and four there for their individual dive. Six and a half for the synchronization, 47.70 for that dive. Not very high quality diving here today. Let's move on to Japan, Shibusawa, Nakagawa with front. Two and a half somersaults, one twist, 3.0 difficulty. Ooh. My Nakagawa closest in screen. Had to struggle to finish her dive. 
Landing a little bit on her legs there while going through the surface. But an okay dive from uh, Sayaka Shibusawa. It's pretty well synchronized in the air just until the end of their dives. 56.70 for that dive. Mostly six and a half for their synchronization. But let's move on to Pamela Ware and Jennifer Abel representing Canada with back two and a half somersaults, pike position 3.0. Degree of difficulty. Ooh. Driving quite well so far in this final. Be beautiful synchronization. But Pamela Ware stopped the rotation just a fragment too early. Coming in slightly short. Landing a little bit on her shoulders there. But they're going to get high synchro scores for this dive. Let's see what the judges thought about their back two and a half somersaults. Well, eight and a half for the synchronization sevens for Pamela's dive and seven and a half for Jennifer Abel's back two and a half somersaults. 72 for their dive. Let's move on to Team China, Lin Qiu, Lu Zhao, also with back two and a half somersaults. Pike position, 3.0 tariff. And they have to nail this dive if they want to keep their lead. Not as good as the Canadian team. According to me, both divers are rolling slightly over in the end. Lin Q is creating a little bit of a bubble there as well while going through the surface. They uh, invite the Canadian team for a, a little bit of a challenge here. Surely opens up a little bit for the Canadian divers. 69.30, but they're still currently ranked one. Let's watch the current standings after the fourth round of dives. China is still in the lead before uh, Jennifer Abel and Pamela Ware. And third, Samantha Mills and Fan Kin. It's still pretty tight there between the first two teams. Round of dives representing Australia, Fankin and Samantha Mills. They finish with front two and a half somersaults, a full twist. Degree of difficulty is 3.0. They've been uh, diving quite well so far in this final. Mm. Samantha Mills surely has troubles with her hurdle step today. She's been standing outside the edge of the springboard almost on every single dive here. But an okay finish from uh, Team Australia. Will it be enough for a medal?
Let's see what the judges thought about that. 67.50 for that dive, sevens for their individual dives. Eights and seven and a halves for the synchronization. Representing Chile, uh, Paula Sotomayor and Wendy Espina. They finish with back two and a half somersaults, tucked position, 2.8 degree of difficulty. One of their best dives here today in this competition. Both divers coming in short. Making a little bit of a splash there. Forty-six point twenty for that dive. Four and a half for their dives. Well, they made it through alive, which we're happy for. Let's move on to Agundes Jimenez with a back two and a half somersaults tucked position. Two point eight degree of difficulty. Ooh. They so well throughout this competition. I'm very impressed by these young divers. This will be a very good team for the future. Beautiful diving from these young girls. Great technique, beautiful tucked positions while spinning in the air. Spots the water and just rips their entries. Will it be enough for a medal? They've been diving very nicely here today. Let's see, sevens for their dives, seven and a half for the synchronization, 62.16. Currently ranked second, it's gonna be tough. Only time will tell. Let's move on to Megan Houston, Laura Ryan. They finish with back two and a half somersaults, pike posi position, 3.0 difficulty. And this team, they've been struggling throughout this competition, really. Ooh, but a good finish for Team USA. Always nice to finish with a good dive. To gain a little bit of confidence. The coach is happy. The sevens for their dives, eights for the synchronization, 68.40 for their back two and a half somersault. Let's move on to Team Russia. Irina Tonikova, Olga Kulimina, they finished with front two and a half somersaults. One twist, 3.0 difficulty. They've also had some troubles here today. Not a very good day at the office. Well synchronized in the air, but a big mistake from uh, Tony Kova. Landing quite heavily on her shoulders while breaking the water. But it gets very difficult to perform these hard dives. We're not reaching the end of the springboard. I have to be very powerful to push the board down. I'm standing back there and gain the speed of the rotation. Low score for Team Russia, 49.50 for that dive. Shoot, shoot. 
representing Japan, Sayaka Shibusawa and Mai Nakagawa. They finish with back two and a half somersaults, pike position, 3.0 tariff. They have some troubles with the synchronization, this team. Mai Nakigawa doesn't weigh as much as her teammate, Shibusawa, who's a little bit taller than Mai. As you can see, Mai is not diving as high as her teammate. Which results in less good synchronization. 59.40 for that die, mostly sixes for the synchronization. Well, they seem satisfied anyway. To the home team representing Canada, Jennifer Abel and Pamela Ware. They finished with front two and a half somersaults, full twist, 3.0 difficulty. from Team Canada. Quite consistent, these divers. Slight mistake from Pamela Ware in the previous round. Mr. Hurl stepped there a little bit, but this was a beautiful finish. And they will be highly rewarded for this dive. Eights for their dives, nines for the synchronization, beautiful, 76.50, and it's a good score for uh, Pamela Ware and Jennifer Abel. But it's really up to this team to decide what color of the medal it will be. Representing China, Lin Qiu, Lu Zhao, also with front two and a half somersaults, full twist. They have to nail this dive if they want that gold medal. That's going to be enough, I think. Not as well performed as the Canadian team, but they had a little bit more higher score while going into this round. But it's a good finish from Team China though consistently throughout this competition. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the women's three meter synchronized springboard final. The 72.90 for that dive. But I'm very eager to see the final results of this event.